I'm a little bit of the trash bag of my friends and family, in a good way. <laughs> Hello my celestial friends, I'm Echo, the Saving Sorceress, and today I thought we would ponder the question, well, we know that I love saving all manner of witchy and crafty things, but am I a hoarder? <laughs> I've kind of been wondering that ever since I started this channel, to be honest. I've been collecting things ever since I can remember, especially things for my witchy room, as you can see here, my magical witchy library. And I've also been collecting craft materials and, you know, jars that look interesting, fabrics to make into new clothes, clothes to wear for literally any occasion that you could possibly think of and several that probably don't exist yet. You know, I've been a collector <laughs> and that's all I really thought I was until I started this channel and got a really good look at my stuff. And the verdict is I'm essentially a dragon hoarding all of my beautiful and lovely treasures from a life well lived. Yeah, and it's gotten, it's gotten quite big. I used to make sort of jokes about, oh, this is becoming a problem, or, oh, maybe I should, you know, hold off on collecting more of that, but, um, let me just give you a quick view of some of the collections that I've got. Too many pretty bottles, and bottle caps, and jars to count, or to use up. Decorative potion balls in progress. Piles and piles and piles of fabric. Oops, my closet's looking even more chaotic than last time. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's really not that I buy a lot of things, because I don't. It's that I don't get rid of the things when maybe it's past the time that I could use them, because I just, I want to give new life to everything. It's a little naive of me to believe that I can, but you know, sometimes I find things from like 15 years ago and I'm like, oh, I know exactly what to do with this. And I create something that I really love. I mean, the couch cover that I have made into my gardening apron, that couch cover is really old. So it's kind of like, I'm not wrong for keeping this stuff, but maybe I need to be a little bit more strict about what I hold on to. <laughs> I also tend to get a lot of things from other people, like I'm a little bit of the trash bag of my friends and family, in a good way. <laughs> what I mean by that is that if someone doesn't want something anymore, they probably give it to me first before, you know, giving it off to someone else or throwing it away. And I mean, I'm really glad to be the stop before the dump, but, you know, it might get overboard when people are giving you their old bras. <laughs> Although I do have plans for them. I always have plans. But I'd like to see more action on those plans instead of just being like, one day, one day I shall do amazing things. I want to actually do those amazing things. So I am hoping to get a whole lot more done in the future, more creating, more making, and you know, just more magic. I will be much more discerning, I think, in what I bring into the house. So that changes today. Well, you know, I mean, I've been working on it for a while, actually, but I'm a lot more motivated now. I recently did a little bit of a clean out under my bed and I discovered some things that I haven't seen for several years. And it just got me to sort of reevaluate. I mean, so far I've used everything from all of my witchy hauls, so no regrets there. But I definitely want to get just more creative in general with the things that I already own. And honestly, I would love some ideas. So if you see anything in my collections that you're like, oh, I know exactly what you should do with this, please let me know down in the comments. 
And also let me know, is this you too? Do you have an issue collecting too much of something or too much of everything like me? Or are you really good at just keeping what you need? Because that's definitely a skill that I would love to learn and I would love some advice. I just really want to see what I can do with all of the materials that I already have and no more. I'm not buying any more craft materials. Well, at least unless I need them for a craft I am already in the middle of working on. But I am also thinking of taking you along with me as I organize some of this stuff. This is where I know organization can be achieved. I've done it before. Now the question is, can I do it again? I mean, my magical library is a beautiful collection rather than a mess. So I know I'm capable of this. <laughs> and I am working on another room that I will hopefully show you sometime in the near future that will enable me to exercise my creativity and use up some of my stuff again. So I can't wait to show that off when I get a little bit closer to finished. I have a lot of plans. So I'm just very excited to put them into the universe, bring them to fruition, and just feel like I'm not sitting on top of my beautiful shiny hoard and not actually using it. So let me know down in the comments, do you tend to hoard witchy or crafty things as well? Or plants or fabric or clothes or other lovely things? <sighs> yeah, please let me know if I'm not alone in this because I would like to not be the only one who has this issue. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would absolutely love it if you had a like and subscribe and stay tuned for more witchy videos like this one. I will be back soon and remember my celestial friends, save whatever lovely memories you have, but maybe not every single item that you get your hands on. <laughs> Be kind to yourself and to the universe, and try to add a little bit of magic wherever possible to your corner of the world. Bye.